Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be part 3 of the main character tier list videos. I've already done a Crash Bandicoot one and a Dr. Cortex one, so it's time for Coco's tier list so I can cover all three of the main characters of the Crash Bandicoot franchise. If this is your first time coming to the channel, I post Crash Bandicoot content every weekend, usually on Saturdays, sometimes on Sundays. I discuss Crash Bandicoot lore, theories, news, merchandise, anything and everything Crash I discuss here. Occasionally I'll release some Spyro content and Super Mario Brothers, but for the most part it's Crash Bandicoot content. So if that's something you might be interested in, consider subscribing. And with that said, let's just jump into the video. So I tried to put them in a chronological order, timeline wise rather to the best of my knowledge. I may have messed up some of them, but as far as I'm aware, I got them in order. So, what we're going to start with, this is the Crash Bandicoot 3 design, which is essentially the Crash Bandicoot 2 design. They didn't really alter anything with it. And it was her first, like, it was her first design. And I will always have a place in my heart for that because I just thought she was adorable so I'm gonna give that an A then we have crash team racing and I can't defend crash team racing's character models because they were atrocious the game itself one of the best games I've ever played but when it came to the models they were very subpar so I'm gonna give that a C and then we move on to Crash Bash these these two are both Crash Bash I'm pretty sure they are that's the in-game model and that's the art for advertisements so Crash Bash was essentially the original trilogies Coco but with, with less detail so I actually do like it more than the CTR design, but I wouldn't put it up in the A tier. And then the art, the art actually makes it look a lot better than what it was. So I will give that one an A also. So we've got two A's, a B, and a C. Now this one here, this is Crash the Wrath of Cortex. And if I was basing it purely off the cutscene, which this is taken from the intro, I would probably put it higher up. But this is not what she looked like for a majority of the game. She looked really choppy in-game, and I didn't like her design at all. And similar to my Crash and Cortex tier list videos, pretty sure I put them down low because Wrath of Cortex is character models were probably the worst that the series ever seen and then we get to twin sanity and twin sanity first s they took everything from classic coco and they brought it to a, a new platform but done correctly so like wrath of cortex was the first ps2 game and then twin sanity followed but they had much more, you know, time because Wrath of Cortex got rushed. So you can't blame them entirely for the poor look of the characters and stuff because they were rushed. But Twin Sanity had time. Of course, they lost uh, a bunch of time as well because Crash Bandicoot Evolution became Crash Bandicoot Twin Sanity. And Coco was cut out of most of the game. But the appearances that she did have, I really liked her design. And that brings us to Two Entrance. That is the classic Coco, just put on Game Boy, Game Boy Advance. So I'm tempted to give it an A. Uh, it looks a little off from her original model, like her eyes are a little bit bigger. Uh, I think I'll give it a B. And then we have Tag Team Racing. 
Tag Team Racing is another one that I would give an S because Tag Team Racing and Twin Sanity are very, very similar. So then we move to Crash Boom Bang, where everyone had super thick arms. <laughs> this was from the Japanese continuity. So it like takes after where um, Pinstripe and Tana got together and all that stuff. So I'm it's between B and C. I think I'm going to give her a B because C is for the ugly ones, but I really think that Boom Bang Coco is really cute. And now we're to the Radical Games. The Radical Games changed it up more than the other games. Like, you can look at all of these designs and the hair is pretty similar. But then we get to Crash of the Titans and they kind of changed her. They were trying to grow, have her grow up. And I don't think it worked. I did not like her hairstyle. So we're going to give it a D. And then Mind Over Mutant. It's also getting a D. I didn't like that design either. Which is not to say the games are bad because I loved Crash of the Titans and Mind Over Mutant. I just did not like how they changed Coco's design. Just like they changed Crunch's design. They changed everyone's design in that game. But, um, didn't like the designs of Coco, enjoyed the games. And then this one is from the Skylanders TV series, if I remember correctly. I have not watched that show, but I remember they introduced Coco into it. So if you wanted it to be in a game, I guess this would be her Thumpin' Wumpa Island design, if she was to make it into the game. They, um, they changed her fur color around her eyes, and they changed her hair again, which you, her hair doesn't have to be the same in order for me to like it, like I was saying with these two versions. Yes, they changed the hair design, but that isn't the main reason I disliked her. They changed the way she looks overall, not just her hair design. But this one I actually think is really interesting looking, and I would actually put it up here in a B tier next to Boom Bang Coco. It's a shame we never got to see her in a game. And then that brings us to the Insane Trilogy and Nitro Fueled. And this one, easily an S tier. Twin Sanity. Tag Team Racing, Nitro Fueled. And then this one, Baby Coco. Baby Coco and Baby Crash are probably my least favorite characters in the entirety of the franchise. <laughs> and I think she's ugly. I don't think that is cute at all. She is the first E tier. Baby Coco is ugly. We got two left. We have Crash Bandicoot 4 and Crash on the Run. Crash Bandicoot 4, great game, great character designs. It's not quite S tier, but I would give it an A tier. And then that brings us to Crash on the Run. Crash on the Run is the new modern look to Coco. The only thing that they really change on her is, for some reason, her eyebrows stand out a lot more. I think it might be because her fur color was changed. But I'm going to give her, along with Crash Bandicoot 4 Coco, I'm going to put her up in A tier. So that was uh, my entire tier list. We have Twin Sanity, Tag Team Racing, Nitro Fueled, Crash 2 and 3, Crash Bash Art, Crash 4, Crash on the Run, Crash Bash, Crash 2 and Trance, Crash Boom Bang, uh, Skylanders Academy or Thumpin' Wumpa Island, whatever you'd want to call it, Team Racing, Wrath of Cortex, Crash of the Titans, Crash Mine Over Mutant, and Baby Coco from Nitro Fueled.
So if you made it far this far into the video, I guess the secret phrase can be hot cocoa. Okay, everyone, I appreciate the time, and uh, you have a great night. Take care.